In this component, you can select which documents are mandatory and which are optional. So a user, an end user can just select that I want to maybe generate the extra, extra demo uh, conditional sections uh, document right here, and then just select that, or you can select multiple if required. Okay, and then, well, of course, as you would expect, you can just watch a preview <clears throat> of this document. So it will now take the two documents, create both of them and merge them together. So from here, you can just download it, uh, send it off to certain packs that uh, are configured. And the cool thing about this component is that it's all configuration. So you can really decide which documents and which packs you want to uh, set up. Let's take a look at the configuration of this component. This component configuration is very simple. You can, of course, do everything manual, but the coolest way to do it is via a flow. So you just define the API name of the flow right here, and we will run that flow and actually get uh, run the logic to decide which documents are mandatory and which are optional and which packs to, uh, to show in this case. So depending on your opportunity, your case, your account information, the products they have selected, whatever, you can now really make decisions about which flow, which documents you want to add and which ones you want to have uh, merged together. So the merge option right here obviously shows that you can merge these documents together into one big PDF, although they are separate doc configs. The download button shows the download. It shows the download right here, but also in the preview. In some cases, you might not want to see the preview, and then uh, you can just download the documents directly. Okay, let's dive in, because the most important thing is this flow. So what's in this flow and how to uh, manage that? In the flow, we have uh, uh, a bunch of logic, obviously, where you get the doc configs. Uh, you can get these doc configs directly via the uh, uh, yeah some information. Maybe you want to first get the uh, uh, opportunity or the quote or whatever object you are you are on. Maybe you have added certain custom fields to your doc config to make your selection uh, more specific to the type of quote or opportunity your customer is on. All of that logic you can build yourself. The cool thing about this is that you can now uh, have an input variable. This input variable, you have to really make sure it's called input, all in lowercase. It's uh, Apex defined, uh, and this is the class the, uh, uh, that we have defined for that input variable. Make sure it's checked available for input, because when we call the flow from PDF Butler, we will pass on certain data that you can use in your flow. For instance, which data can you use here? Let's say that you want to get the record uh, for get the opportunity that you are working from. Uh, so we call this get opportunity. We're gonna go via the opportunity object, and then we say the ID of the opportunity equals our input variable, and then we can choose here the record ID. <clears throat> so we can now fetch all the opportunity data that we want and build custom logic depending on the opportunity I'm currently on. Again, if you are working on another object, uh, please select another object. This ID will actually be the uh, record ID of the object you're currently on. So in this case, I'm on an opportunity. If you're on a case, if you're on an, uh, um, a quote, whatever a custom object, you can. Uh, it will represent the ID of this object you are on. Okay, so that's the input variable. Uh, next to that, we need a bunch of other variables. You might need to set the alternative. So here you can just set the alternative by setting the uh, variable called alternative. And we do the same for the locale. So which are these variables here? These are two variables to, uh, that you want to manage. In certain cases, you don't need an alternative. You don't need a locale. So just uh, ignore them. You don't need to set them. Uh, the system will be smart enough to know to go for the defaults. Um, but if you need to set them, make sure to create a uh, variable called alternative. Look at the name here, please. The data type is text and it's available for output. Make sure this button is, uh, this checkbox is checked because otherwise data will not be passed on from the flow to PDF Butter Logic. Same for the locale. All lowercase, look at the, uh, the, the writing here. The data type is again text and it's available for output. <coughs> so we have now uh, fetched our data, all the information that we need. As you can see, uh, with this data, I have uh, fetched a certain doc configs uh, that I want to process. And 
Now I want to decide which doc configs are mandatory and which doc configs are optional. In this case, the logic is pretty straightforward and simple. I just get a bunch of doc configs uh, depending on their name. They have to be called uh, demo. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to start looping through these doc configs. I'm going to loop through all the doc configs that I have uh, retrieved and I just add them to a certain variable. As you can see here, I'm going to add them to an, uh, a variable called optional doc configs. So these are the optional doc configs, the ones that are shown here with these checkboxes. So they are not automatically checked like the mandatory one. And in these optional doc configs, make sure to use the operator add, and you can just add the uh, doc, uh, the record ID uh, of that doc config right here. So it has to be the record ID, uh, and I'm gonna get these doc configs via just a get records action. Again, like I said, this is a very simple, straightforward example. If you wanna make custom fields on your doc configs and make do more complex uh, filter settings, of course, this is all what you can do in a flow. So I have now assigned my doc configs here, um, the optional ones to assign the uh, um, the mandatory ones, that is another uh, variable. You can see here we have three collection variables. Uh, we have a collection variable called docconfig, mind the writing. Huh? The, the C is uppercase, so uh, this has to be exactly correct. The data type is text, and it's, uh, it allows multiple values. So this means that can, there can be multiple mandatory documents selected. Available for output, obviously, otherwise this information is not passed on from the flow to PDF Butter and we cannot run it. Next to that, we have optional doc configs. Optional doc configs uh, mind the writing, yeah? uh, uppercase D, uppercase C. The data type is text. Again, it's a collection variable, so it allows multiple values and it's available for output. And then we have the packs. So the packs are actually these buttons over here, actions taken on the uh, the documents that are created. And of course, these packs are also shown on the preview um, on the previewer tab. So if you, you can see right here that these packs are all there. So these packs are also um, a collection variable, type text, and uh, make sure to allow multiple values and then available for outputs. This one is one word, so it's all lowercase. There is no uppercasing for the uh, concatenating the words, like for instance with doc configs and optional doc configs. To set these packs, have eh, what I've done here. I have selected one specific pack uh, via a uh, get uh, get records um, action in the flow, and I just set a very simple okay, go for uh, this value, this name. Again, if you want to do something specific very uh, for this one, depending on the status for your opportunity, for instance, you can just select that pack as you like. Okay, let's go and see how we now assign all of these doc configs and these packs uh, uh, to their variables. So for the doc config, these are the mandatory one. In this case, I have only one uh, mandatory one. And uh, yeah, uh, again, this is a collection variable. So I have to use the add operator and then select the value. This is the ID of my doc config, the doc config I have retrieved earlier with a get record action. Then I'm gonna set three packs. Uh, these ones are hard coded. Obviously, that's bad practice. So make sure that you do a get pack, uh, that you get them via the uh, uh, get record um, action, and then you can just assign them like here. We get the packs uh, variable collection variable. We use the add operator and we add the pack here. So now we have added uh, doc configs, mandatory doc configs. We have added optional doc configs via the uh, loop above. And we have added certain packs that we want to display to the user. All of that conditionally, all of that via flow logic. And then this, uh, this flow is then run when this component opens and it will immediately show all of these uh, variables. So that also means that if I make a change, it will immediately reflect here. So let's say that I want to uh, remove uh, this pack and this pack. Uh, okay, let's say done. I'm gonna save this as a new version. 
and then I need to activate it. And when I refresh the page, only the uh, send to Slack uh, pack will be uh, will be retained because this is the only one that's left now in the uh, logic, in the assignment here for the uh, for the packs.